Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a dice in Game Maker Studio 2. It's pretty simple. There's not a lot of code involved. So the finished product should end up looking something like this. When you click it, it rolls and you get the value that it rolls to. Alright, so let's get into the code. So first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description and download this resource pack. I drew these dice where you can draw your own and um, import them into the game. If you don't know how to do that, it's pretty simple. And if you don't want to do that, you can just draw your own dice. But you should be sure to have at least six because that's the values I'm going to be using. And then origin, set the origin to the center and then that should be it for the dice. And then go ahead, once you, once you do that, go ahead and turn that dice into an object. And then inside this object, what we want to do is we want to start with a create event. And there's not going to be a lot of code, so this is going to be a pretty short tutorial. The code's pretty straightforward too, it's not very hard to understand. So, in this create event, all we need is to set the image speed equal to zero. Oops. Image speed equals zero. And what this does is it stops the dice from uh, cycling through its indexes. So in here, it's not going to constantly cycle through because we're setting the speed equal to zero. So it's going to stay at the first index to start and it will um, continue to stay at a speed of zero as we, uh, as we mess with the dice. All right, the second thing we need is a step event. And inside this step event, we're going to go ahead and do uh, some logic based off the image angle of the dice. So if image angle angle is greater than zero so by default it'll be at zero and so what we're checking for here is if it is greater than zero then we would be considered rolling so that gives it the cool roll animation you saw uh, when I showed the game at the beginning of this tutorial so if image angle is greater than zero then our image angle it, it needs to move for one so minus equal to 15 and this will eventually return it back to zero, so this will return false and it'll exit this event. So, and you can mess with values here to make it faster or slower. Just be sure that it, um, it divides out 360 evenly or else it'll go past zero. And then this, actually this should remain true, but then the image will be uh, at a weird angle when it's done sort of animating. All right, then the next thing we wanna do is set our image index equal to choose. We're going to let GameMaker choose the index. And remember, indexes start at 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that accounts for every index in our dice because this is a total of 6 indexes. And then we're going to set a variable here, value rolled, equal to the string of dot dot dot. This is our sort of waiting. Oops our waiting uh, message that we will display in the draw event when we are rolling so that it's not constantly flashing um, the, the, the rolls. It's kind of hard to explain. So now that we have that, we need to go into an else statement. Else, the value rolled, value rolled, is equal to the image index plus one. So if we're done, if this returns false and we're done being, or we're done rolling, then we are going to go in and our value rolled will be equal to the image index, which remember is being chosen here, plus one. So zero would be one, which would be the first index, which would be the one. It's pretty easy um, if you just look here. So this would be index number five. So if it chose index number five, it would be index number five plus one, which would be this. Um, or not that, it would be, it'll give us six as an integer here. All right, so that's all we need to do in the step event. But now we need to display um, this stuff to the screen. We need the people to be able to, uh, well, I guess it just looks nice. They could probably figure out what they rolled based off the dice, but this just looks nice in my opinion. So we're gonna do draw text. And then x minus 60. I've already worked these values out, so I think it looks good. You can mess around with these if you, if you really wanted to. And then y plus 20. And then whatever you want to say, you rolled. And 
then um, be sure this is a string here, but then we also need to add the string value to the end of this of our value rule, value rule, close parentheses. And then this looks like it's fine, but um, it's not because we also need to make sure that we draw our self now. So draw self, and this keeps it, if we didn't add this and our dice wouldn't display in the room. And now we need to go to another event. This one's gonna be mouse left pressed. So when we click on the dice, we want to change, if you remember here, our condition, we want, so if the image angle is greater than zero, so we want our image angle to be greater than zero. So I'm gonna do image angle equals 360. And that, that's just about it. Actually, I think that's exactly it. Let me, or no, it's not. We need to set up a room. And the reason I don't have a room out of, automatically set up right now with the default room is because we need to actually go in and change some stuff in the room. Um, I guess you don't really have to, but it, I just think it looks better um, with different different widths and heights and views. So I put I set my uh, width and height to 256 by 256. And then I'm going to go into viewports and cameras. I'm going to enable viewports. I'm going to go to viewport one make it visible and we don't want this large viewport anymore so i'm going to make it the exact width and height of the room so 256 by 256 and now for the uh viewport displayed on or what, what it's going to display on my actual uh, computer screen i went ahead and i did let me check here 640 by 640 so 640 oops not typing 640 by 640 and now we have this small little room here and let's go ahead and drag our dice into the center and let's play oops let me go into my options real fast this shouldn't be a problem for you um, but I messed with the graphics to have a borderless window. so you can just ignore that let me replay it And here it is. So let me click on it. It's rolling. We rolled a two. We rolled a six, two, six, one. So you can see that it works. Um, super simple. Of course, you could do potentially as many dice as you want. I recommend though, if you get into large numbers, maybe maybe don't use choose because you don't want to type out like a hundred different uh, integers. You could do i random and then uh, the values within that. But that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, thanks for watching.